But here's a good story for you. We've been still we were crying out for somebody who supports Blackburn Rovers to come on. A, to celebrate their fantastic 3-1 victory against Swansea today. And B, to try and explain why well, there's only 6,000 people there. Well, I've got one. Um, he's, his name is Will. He originally tweeted saying, I, I couldn't go to the game today. He's got a very good excuse, Dan. He's a Blackburn Rovers fan who lives in Mexico City. All oh, right. Um, he, said, off. he said he can't phone as well. It's too expensive. But we phoned him back because TalkSport, as you know, has almost unlimited riches. <laughs> um, so it's a very big welcome to Will in Mexico City. Hello, Will. Hi, Danny and Danny. Thank you very much Hi, for having well. me on. Oh, look, it was, I saw your tweet. Uh, I thought, oh, that poor fellow can't even afford to ring us. Well, I'll happily talk to him. Um, you're, uh, you're half a world away, so uh, but don't suppose yeah. it, uh, it stops it being a great day for a Blackburn Rovers fan. Oh, of course not. It's fantastic. It's just good to actually put a couple of goals in, or three. Uh, even though it was against ten men for most of it, it still counts, doesn't it? I mean, I'm I was almost surprised by the amount of goals they scored because they left their big mm. threats, Jordan Rhodes and Rudy Gestet, on the bench. Yes, and hoping that's got nothing to do with them being cup tied for someone else in the next round. That's the fear, isn't it? Yeah. Although Gestet did come on and of course scored the goal. Will, how did you? How, how have you? Where are you from? Are you from the Blackburn area? No, I'm actually from down south. Uh, it just Blackburn looked good when I was young. Yeah. I uh, started getting the football and you know, Shearer, Sutton, and all the rest of them became my heroes. And everyone else in May and I had an Arsenal fan. So I'll forget that. I want to be a Blackburn fan. And, so, and how have you, how have you, you made, stuck with it. How have you made the journey from the south, somewhere in England, to the environs of Mexico City? Well, I'm a football coach and I saw a uh, job going out here. I've been coaching around the world for the last few years and wanted to try somewhere a bit sunnier. Brilliant. Oh, well, I mean, well, then you could, you'll be able to tell us about the, the football scene in Mexico. Of course, massive population. Football yep. is, uh, you know, talk about religion. In Central in, of all the Central American clubs, uh, t countries, Mexico is football bonkers. And I think the local league, yes. um, despite some problems with ownership, because some of the owners are fairly dodgy, I think it's fair to say, is thriving. Yeah, very much so. Yeah, uh, the football here is incredibly popular, uh, but it's a real shame considering their size and their popularity, that they don't do better on the national stage. And I could do hours on on why that is. But uh, one thing you might find interesting is their league actually has a limit on the foreign players mm -hmm. you can have in your team. And you think that's the, so, is, is that benefiting the Mexican league? I Kind of, in a way. But there's also the side of it that the best players will stay here and earn a lot of money playing for the best teams in Mexico. They'll be heroes, uh, they'll win trophies, but they need to get into Europe. They need to play in the Champions League, and we can name those guys on just one hand. And I think they'd much rather play for America or Cruz Azul rather than go and play for a mid-table team in France, which... So that, that's the reverse of the... Beneficial. That's the reverse of other uh, team uh, players in that part of the world who might want to leave their local country to come and play in Europe. Mexico is so yeah. successful and pays the players so well that they stay there. Well, fascinating yeah. to talk to you. However, briefly, Will, thank you very much indeed. Thanks for having me on. There's Will there in Mexico City. He's a football coach. Fascinating stuff, Dan, actually. Let's, let's get one more...